Hi, it's Ileana and today I'm going to be discussing entity attachments. So I've um, had an experience where I had to do an entity attachment on somebody who uses black magic. And um, basically the, this, this person, I think they're a witch. They have the capabilities of uh, using proxies to manipulate people with their black magic. They're on a level six from one to 10 with their magic. And they can telepathically stalk people and physically send out proxies who are programmed with the magic to do their bidding. So this kind of magic is really dark and it requires a literal energetic exorcism to be done to get rid of this type of a um, dark magic practitioner. Um, on the level to me, when I scanned that being, it felt like a witch to me. Um, so, and they tried to literally uh, break my arm, my left arm, from the socket, and I sent... I did, I did the Aikido effect because I'm white light magic practitioner. I'm trained as a light witch Wiccan. Um, so what I did is I took the dark, the dark uh, energy that was sent my way, that was meant to dislocate my shoulder, my left shoulder. I just took that energy back three times three and sent it back to the dark arts practitioner and I heard them screech because I said three times three I send it back to thee what you sent to me I send it back to thee and just redirected the energy back to them um, back to the source now all I heard is what I think is female I heard a psychic screech I don't think I heard them. All they got back is the energy they sent to me. They got it back. Um, and they didn't break my shoulder. It was a bit sore, but they didn't break it. But anyways, it um, during this entity attachment removal, I was dealing with a dark arts, dark magic practitioner. Uh, and I literally had to bind their powers their magic, uh, their ability to use proxies, even conventional means to spy on people. I had to literally bind and block th those energies and those abilities. Um, so this witch practitioner can never do this again to somebody else or to people in general. Um, and I mean, there's different types of entity attachments. There's uh, negative thought forms that people send to each other. There's black magic, uh, interference and uh, targeting. There's proxies through black magic. There's the practitioner sending you dark magic. So that has to be, the energies have to be cleared and the cords that bind need to be detached and removed. So um, when there's entity attachments, clearing has to be done, energetic clearing of all the connections, the cords, the contracts, whatever the connection is, has to be removed uh, with what I think is psychic surgery and words of power and that kind of stuff. So there's energetic attacks, entity attachments, there's negative thought forms, there's magic, um, there's physical threats and physical stalking, that's also entity attachment, that could be, there's negative ET attachments, you're being like abducted and stalked by extraterrestrials or other dimensional beings that are, that are of a negative um, light or negative bent, whatever you want to call it. So there's all kinds of different attachments. There are spirit attachments, entity attachments from spirits who never passed on, never got over something, frustrated, whatever. Um, 
there's all kinds of entity attachments. And some people just have negative thought forms in themselves. Something is going on in life and it's negative and the thinking patterns are, are there and it needs to be cleared. So um, there's all kinds of things that could be construed as entity attachments. Some people call bad entities demons or dark lords or whatever, uh, dark magic practitioners, whatever you call it. If, if it's of a negative vibration and frequency that is interfering with your life, usually it's best to clear it whether you are yourself, whether you're yourself an energy healer, um, a psychic surgeon, and you can clear it on your own, or you ask somebody else who is proficient in doing that type of stuff to clear it for you. It's very important to, um, if you feel, sense that there's some kind of an entity attachment, whatever it is, if you, if you feel and sense that it's interfering with your life, that um, there's physical issues, mental health issues, whatever, because of this, it's best to, to clear it, in my opinion. And I mean, I've had to do entity attachment removal, removal on my ancestors line on my dad's side, because there was a lot of negativity because of something that was done to them in the past. And they had their homes burned. So they had a lot of negativity. Um, and I had to clear that. I counted it as entity attachment because it was really negative, frustrated energies that had to be cleared from that side of the family lineage. So I did spell work for that. And I did a uh, candle spell and magic ritual to clear all that out. That was years ago, but it improved my health and my well-being. Um, and there's, you know, energetically removing entities, entity attachments with words of power and psychic surgery. So there's different means of doing that um, for to remove the, um, the dark magics practitioners, entity attachment magic stuff. I used words of power. I used a lot of energy and I also um, literally like did an exorcism. Thank you so much and namaste.